Hi folks, it probably take me ages to get the camera zoomed out. <coughs> this is a photo from the boardwalk, it's a raised platform uh, in Morden Hall Park, it's on our bike ride that we do every Tuesday morning. There are my three mates there, their yellow high-vis bike jackets. Uh, this is, these are all reeds, in, but the, the, the whole wetlands, and that's all the way around, <coughs> has been drained for maintenance and the, 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 the pond clearing and so on. It's a very, very lovely spot. I don't know what, what's behind there. Oh, they're probably factories. Yeah, it's a factory. That, I believe, is the uh, Trinitarian Bible Society warehouse. But, I, but it's because of the autumn colours in, in these trees here. But when you work from photographs, you've got to simplify. And I must remind all of you that copy my work, that I've done the simplification for you. I've done the filleting. I've just put in the essentials. So worth bearing that in mind, that when you copy from a photograph and you're not experienced, you tend to put everything in, and that's not a good... Well... If you can do it, well, please yourself. But good, but good painting practice means that you can create a painting, your own painting, by being selective and moving things around. Just use things as a guide. That's my what I do. Uh, but I didn't at first, of course. I I uh, copied and copied and copied because that's how we learn. But eventually we 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 grow up. Uh, right. Okay. That's one picture. I'll show you another one. That was on our bike path, uh, uh, Poulter's Park. It's the second one that they've burnt around here over a couple of years. This is all two years old, This these paths, the cycle paths, uh, pedestrian, dog walkers, joggers. It's lovely. The river is just over down here. But the last one they burnt was on one of the new bridges and of course they had to replace parts of the bridge, which is a great shame. Uh, so what can you say about this sort of vandalism, eh? The, the yobos that do this are tomorrow's uh, prisoners in jail, I think. Totally, totally waste of time, waste of space. So no doubt that will be cleared up by next week. Uh, I think it might be another, one more. Another one of the wetlands. Lovely trees. I, painted, I have painted this in acrylic. I might even do that one because there's lots of colour. But the photograph I used was was from last year. It's a bit of the fencing there. But I, you've got to simplify all this. You can't you can't paint all that in. Well, not in the time that I've got to to do the video. So I removed that. Take a bit of tape off and put this back in this little case and prop it up somewhere. Plug it in. Keep the battery nicely charged. And, oops, sorry, don't bear with me. I'll pull that to one side Well, I can see it and just use it as an aid memoir and zoom out. All right, I'll just alter my camera a little bit. Okay, just turn that up a little bit. That'll do. There we are. Right, this is uh, 90 pound rough paper. And uh, student quality paints as usual, being kept lovely and moist in my stay wet palette. <coughs> you can use um, a plastic bag, you can use anything you like to keep it moist, as long, as long as it's reasonably airtight. It'll keep your paints nice and workable. Which I, which I like. You, you can get to your paint straight away. I'm just cleaning my palette from yesterday. I did one on YouTube yesterday and one on Patreon. Have a look at Patreon if you haven't already. There are some, some free videos, that, even the ones, the 70 or 80 that I've got on there for the last three months are only $4 to view for a month. But there are four or five other videos that I put on as sort of uh, to give you 
friends a, a chance to see what it's all about without any obligation. And I'm drinking my cup of tea. I'm going to wet the paper all over in a minute. Right, let's just move my water near me. My uh, cloth, you need some cloth. Unfortunately, I can't show you all of this. I've only got a little can, can and camcorder. So unless some, one of you wants to donate a good camera, that would be, well, this is a good camera, but it's very limited. Anybody wants to donate a, a, a camera that will be better than the one I've got. Better still, someone to operate it. Well, I paint so there you can see different angles, close ups, see me, see my work, the mess I'm working. Right, off we go. Said enough, enough yak. So we'll give this a bit of a bit of a wet. The sky today was uh, is overcast, but thin cloud with a bit of sun. Well, not sun, but <coughs> a bit of um, light from the cold grey blue sky behind. So we'll we'll put in a bit of bit of ultramarine. Go from the top. Try to recreate something of that sky. And as we come down to the horizon, we can work in a bit of bit of sienna, a bit of red. So what we've got is a, a gradated surface there. I think I'm only going to do one painting this afternoon. I'm going to watch Alan Owen on YouTube, see what he's up to, smoothie maybe. And if Stephen Cronin has uh, done anything, I shall watch him as well. We're a little group of English watercolour painters. Uh, right, okay, so so that's that. Now, the predominant, well, I'm going to give that a dry, I'm, and I'm going to use a, use a sable as well, I think. So, bear, um, wind, wind forward or mute sound. <coughs> Just taking the shine off the paper. So I want to put a bit of a bit, a bit of blue behind that, a bit of red, a bit of light red. Oh, I've got to do some clouds, haven't I? So cloud. Let's let's use some uh, umber and uh, ultramarine. Oh, okay. Not so sure about that colour. Add a little bit more blue into that, I think. Oh, this way, because you're losing its hairs now. Put a little bit of raw sienna in there, I think. Behind those clouds, a little bit. You can do a lot with this paper. It's, uh, it's very good natured. It's hundred percent linen rag. Right, let's get in some some background there. There's a bit of blue, a bit of red. Just to give a bit of distance, there isn't any in the, on, the, on the photograph, but then remember we're not painting from a photograph, we're, we're making things up based on, on a, a memory of a photograph. Get that a bit higher. 
Because I want some of it. I don't want it all to show through, but some of it. It's just faint. Okay, I'll put a bit of a background behind that. Let's have a bit of bit of bit of green. So a bit of cage yellow, bit of sienna, bit of blue. Just get a basic colour of autumn colours. That's an all blend, but just give a sort of a, a background. I've, I've created the horizon is just a little bit too too high. Should have come down to about there really, but made more of the sky than that one. And we've got more green, more warm green. Let's come in here with with this. Yeah, the paper's still damp. Warmer colours have come into the foreground. I mean, you don't have, we don't have to be exact, we're, we're making a painting here. Try to make it attractive. It does help. Nice warm, it's a bit red in here. Why not? We all merge, blend. Some darker greens. Let's put red in with that. I'm hoping I can scrape scrape out of that, scrape into that. It's a lovely place. If you live in South London, it's well worth making a, a trip to uh, Morden Hall Park. You can get there quite easily from South Wimbledon Underground Station. Walk along road and you can go into Merton Abbey have a cup of tea coffee which we do very good little restaurant there well several there's Garth who runs the uh, Ting and Ting it's a West Indian shack there's a lot of barbecues there over the weekends saw him this morning he, a bit early for him really but he was sleeping off the night before uh, he went to Buckingham Palace a couple of years ago. Uh, Prince Charles, who was promoting uh, ethnic food. Uh, it's just put in bits of shadow and just making a bit of a background. Then we can see little bits of shadow. Look. But all very colourful, all blending in. You couldn't do this with a fabric, aren't I? Oh, let's get a bit of, bit of nice, bit of neat yellow in there. Oops. Sorry, excuse me, my head. Oh, we're good in there. We've got some nice shadow coming up here and on in this. Got more of a shadow going in there. I'm just using ultramarine and red, light red. On the photograph, it looks like it's a hill, but this is this is on the water table of the River Wandle, and it's not on a hill. It's quite flat. That's why well, there's so much water here. The Wandle Valley we're in. Okay. Now this foreground is is entirely fabricated, just made up. Put a little bit of harder stuff in it. Now while it's damp. I quite like that. Uh, right, let's just 
put in some just a, a few thousand a little bit of shadow in to that, got a greeny shadow. Oh, and dogs, they're always at it. Must have been my windows closed. Right, now let's go with some nice greens now. Uh, got yellow, burnt sienna, bit of ultramarine. Let's just put in some some nice sienas. This is just background. Stronger greens. It's all drying now. Oh, it's got more yellowy green now. So I'm using the, the wet in the paper to, to move this around. Soften it all. Emerge. And then I can put in the big trees later. A little more yellow. Oh, a little bit of red in there. Touch of water. You see, I think the paint is like it's almost tube consistency now because I've kept it moist and I'm adding water to it. Yeah, I want all that lovely blue to show. Well, not all of it, but, but enough of it. All right, let's get let's get a graduated a little bit. Rewet that. So that shadow. It's just a little bit diffuse now. It's just wet, wet the paper. I think I overdid that a little bit there. Okay, a bit more green. Try to make your trees different as you go along. You don't want them all the same. Now I'm going to add some more autumn colours, reds in there before I start doing the trees. Alright, get some nice sienna. Can't go wrong with a bit of old burnt sienna. Remember sienna, burnt sienna, works beautifully with the cagello. Just alter that shape. So I'm going to put one of my trees. Okay, clean the hake. Right now, I'm going to use this. Uh, I don't know if it's number four, number eight. I think it's uh, number eight. It's a sable. It's a Kalinsky sable that I got cheap at the Art in Action show a couple of years ago. I bought three, I bought two of these, this size, <coughs> and uh, a number 12. And I don't suppose I've paid more than 25 quid for the lot of them. It's going to show the profit in these things, isn't it? Well, so let's, let's mix up a, a nice dark, 
Boom. Ultramarine. So let's just put in a, the shape of, of the tree quite lightly. This is the edge of the brush. And I'm going to use a rigger in this. Get a bit warmer. Okay, let's just spread that out a little bit there. Okay, that's one. Some more in. Slightly offset here. Just using the side of the brush to create the shape. And then we go over to the other side, to the right, and put a smaller one, smaller than that, but here. Water. I'm using a, a sort of a warm grey mix from the ultramarine and the burnt umber. Any more we can put in? Yeah. Put in uh, something in there. Quite a spreading tree, huh? I'm going to go to put some more texture over that when it's dry, just to cover up a little bits of these uh, reeds that I've just roughly amateurishly put in. All right, I'm going to I'm going to dry that now. So headphones off or mute your sound. Ready, go. I think I uh, overdid this bit here, so let's just soften that and just dob it out, it's just a bit too strong. Okay, that'll do, that won't hardly show. Just because we use the hay, or I use the hay, doesn't mean to say that I don't have to use anything else. That's <coughs> whatever works really. Right, uh, rigger brush. We'll uh, mix up a nice dark. So I'll use a bit of Payne's grey and a bit of burnt over for that. Because it's quite silhouetted. Oh, it's all done. That's it. Alright, let's just get a nice tree buried in. There's a sort of central one coming up there. Got a tape of these. Quite a bit of water. When you're painting on rough, rough paper, you have to. All of this, anything coming up here. Can't put them all in, but we'll uh, do our best. Quite a thick one, this coming up here. Remember, the tree has got to support a huge weight of leaf and twigs, branches.
Now no attempt to put him. Oh, I don't know that sort of thing when I'm doing this. My wife's out. Going to the pitch club. A lot of friends know that I, I'm doing this and I, I don't stop unless I want to do it in two parts. You don't need too much more. Just put some rough stuff on it. Okay, that'll do for that. Now, we could probably put a little bit of stuff in there. Uh, that is actually coming over there. Into that, that's why I did that. We're in a wrist support though, arthritis in the wrist, and I have to bite right, it really pains a bit. Right, uh, let's just put a few bits of nothing in these areas here. Grey, just put in some stuff in there. Mm. Bit more water. I've modified this with a bit, a bit of ultramarine. It's quite thin paint. Okay, now we've got this big one over here. Getting some more texture now. Back to the hake, so we'll have a bit of a bit of burnt sienna, burnt umber, and a bit of a bit of this and a bit of that. Lose some of that. Okay. Now we need a bit more shadow now because I it's sort of soaked in to here. A bit more blue. A bit of red. Do 
try to avoid repetition. You can't always see what you're doing. You, you t I tended to repeat one after the other here, but, but just try to make all these things different. All right, let's get a bit of bit of nice warm, bit more warm green if there's such a thing. Never warm green. Just a bit of foreground texture in, in here. Just, uh, just suggesting a bit of detail, not too much. But. So we're going into more diffuse areas here, yeah, but we're just beefing up the foreground as simply as possible. Now, yeah. Just a bit of this and that. Okay, I'm going to let that go. I don't want to do any more. I'll sign it and then I'll give it a quick dry just to make, make sure, just to fix it. <coughs> okay, so there we are. So, Morton Hall. Oh, let's just make it a little bit bigger so you can see what I've done. Plenty of colour in that. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's just lift out some of these little bits of... Well, it's just a bit wet. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.